Welcome on in everyone. Let's do a little clearing of the space. And while we do this, let me make a few disclaimers here that are necessary. If you've not heard this before, all I ask is that you sit through and listen to it one time. If you've already seen it, then you can go on and fast forward into the reading, okay? Number one, I've got to say this for the YouTube moderators. This is for entertainment purposes only. And, you know, if they eventually want to take this down, then, you know, all my censored content goes to BitChute and Odyssey. If you want to know more about that, watch to the very end. I'll have information. Of course, links are down below in the description box. I also want to say, because this is for entertainment purposes only, do your own research, okay? I am not your fact checker, all right? You be your fact checker. Number two, those of you who are wondering my disposition, it's a good question that you need to ask of anybody who's given any kind of commentary. I am awake. I am not woke. I don't believe we're in Kansas anymore. If you think we still are, go, you know, that's good for you. <laughs> I'm not going to stand in your way. Believe what you want, okay? But I do have to say that I will in this reading discuss some things that you might not agree with and we're all adults so you can click away if you are not comfortable with people having a difference of opinion also i will use code speak here slang uh, and some of you might think that's silly but then again so is censorship so moving on y'all are free to disagree i'm a freedom loving aquarian so yes absolutely share your agreement and disagreement in the comments down below just understand that if you're going to cite sources from places like cnn you might get schooled. You might get laughed out of the comment section because, <laughs> as I said before, I'm awake, not woke. And finally, number three, uh, in case you hadn't figured it out, I am not your typical tarot reader. Um, if politics is not your thing, then please know I've got a lot of relationship coaching content here on my channel. I do relationship readings live every full moon, new moon. If you want to be notified of that, make sure that you uh, look at my stuff at the end to get more information. If you do like my political content, please know that I've got a lot more of that on uh, platforms where I won't be censored, or at least for now, I'm free to speak more openly about politics. Information will be at the end of the video, so stay tuned to the very end for that. That being said, let's get into this reading with a cleared space. Well, come on in. We are having a week ahead reading, political reading, for the week of 4th of July. I hope you are having a good one. And if you haven't seen my astrology report that I put out for the last six months of the year for the United States astrology, hey, this might interest you. I will have a link for it at the very end of this video in case you want to watch it. And let's see. Let's see what the cards bring up. I'm doing this a little bit ahead of schedule. Personally, I'm doing this reading like a, about a week out because I've got so much going on, so much busyness. Oh, oh yeah. I hope we don't, by the way, I hope we don't get some repeats because I don't know if you've noticed, like look at how many topics are in this deck and they have been coming up over and over and over again. And I want some new fresh topics this week. We'll see what happens. Clot shot, fiat, middle class, bears. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. D-Y-O-R, do your own research. Uh, Hello, yeah. Do we have anything else? Do we have anything else? Because I'm kind of feeling these go together. Anything else? No, I'm being told to leave it at that. Okay. I'm being told to leave it at that. So let's start off with, um, I'm actually already excited about this part. Can I say that? Because it's not more about the ruling class elite. You know, there's been just enough of that. I, I'm tired of hearing about those people. Um, but yeah, let's talk about VAERS, the clot shot, and, you know, is this like the, you know, for those of you who don't know, VAERS is the reporting mechanism for vaccine injuries and incidents, okay? Um, all right, okay. This is a lot of major arcana. Chickens come home to roost is what I've been hearing, and... I don't know why intuitively I'm getting somebody... Somebody's holding back information, okay? And it's on the side of this emperor. This emperor, I feel, represents some very powerful, influential people. And I'm also seeing somebody really protecting and defending that by holding back information which would hold people back from taking certain actions. 
I'm also seeing that somebody here is trying to keep their accounts in order. Like they don't want certain information to come out because it's going to mess up their bookkeeping, their financial accounts and whatnot. Somebody is maybe uh, trying to, I, I got a weird message here about trying to cook the books, okay? Somebody trying to cook the books so that they can protect themselves against some kind of internal audit, the authorities. And this is kind of a somewhat of an auditing service, okay, where, well, you got to self-report. And shockingly, a lot of people do not know that they're, even doctors, shockingly, I know this is hard to believe. I, I follow doctors, you know, on online who are saying that they're meeting people fresh out of med school, do not know about theirs, do not know that they are required by... Well, come on in. We are having a week ahead reading, political reading for the week of 4th of July. I hope you are having a good one, which was May 21st to June 30th. So perhaps during, you know, the time frame of May to June, us people were partnering with certain people. I know that there were some big pharma execs who stepped down like the same day or within a, a couple days of each other, they stepped down and then they were replaced. And so there's something here about who is partnering with these highly powerful influential people and it might also have to do with alliances that were formed or agreements contracts i can see where again i don't know why i'm and i'm hearing god how do you say that it was under trump that project that he put to fast track the vaccines and he lifted a lot of regulations off of them It's not only the contracts, it's also who all was a part of this, who all was impacted by that. And the expectations they had about really pushing that forward and fast tracking it. Oh, Operation Warp Speed, my God, yes. People had very high expectations, okay? I really feel like this is um, all the big pharma companies that were involved with this government fast tracking program that lifted regulations off of them. Operation Warp Speed, basically. I think that people were expecting, obviously, long term benefits here. They felt at the time uh, that this was a wise decision. At least that's the way the people in authority were putting it out. That's the communications that were being exchanged by the media, largely. So people had elevated expectations. I'm almost getting some vibe like, this is weird, but some of these people felt like they have a really unhealthy relationship with these people in authority. Like they felt like these people are heroes, rescuers, salvation. That's super weird. But you know what? Factually speaking, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> Tell me more about this emperor. Yeah, this is the, these are the legal, I, I think, you know, within the court system. Why is this coming up 4th of July? I, I'm hearing revisiting, revisiting, okay? And I'm also getting uh, mandates, okay? I am getting mandates, legal mandates on the um, working class. OK, and I'm getting somebody you know, again trying to control things because we don't want this to get out of hand. And it, they sound very mature and responsible and knowledgeable. 
And again, I'm getting like a law library there and a courthouse there. I'm getting a lot about these vax mandates are going to come up yet again. Oh, how convenient. Now that we just got Roe versus Wade overturned. So now, now, you know, they could try to use that legal precedent to say, well, now we can mandate you having vaccines. Mm -hmm. You think that's an accident. You think that's some accident that after how many decades that's been legal and then suddenly it's overturned because think back, think back, think back to Gemini season and maybe even Aries season um, as early as April when people were, uh, when Biden was trying to get the vax mandates through the court system, the legal system, and it was not successful. It got blocked. You remember? Well, now we have a legal precedent with Roe versus Wade. Are they going to revisit, come back again, try try another time now with Roe versus Wade overturned? I wouldn't put it past them, not for one second. All right. Um, and, and, you know, that's regardless of anybody's opinion about that issue. Um, they're working through the legal system. These are these are attorneys. These are judges. This is the court system. This is about the authorities mandating stuff in the context of shots. With the Eight of Swords, it's an energy of, um, you know, people having victim mentality, maybe holding themselves back on issues or being very closed minded and not opening up. And I see this emperor, whoever is in authority here is looking at who can I partner with on this? Who's going to legally help me maintain order and moving my plans forward to maintain my power and authority. But he's looking away from this issue here that, you know, this is fencing a lot of people in. Somebody not really, somebody in authority not wanting to look at how this is actually victimizing people and not willing to be open to the facts, okay? The facts of look at all the injuries here. It's documented. In fact, it's under documented. So, I mean, this is bad. And as bad as that is, understand it's a mere fraction of what's going on because so many people don't even know about theirs. They don't know that they're legally bound to report it. Not even people in the medical community fresh out of medical school. It's shocking and appalling. So as bad as those numbers are, understand it's way worse. This is also, I am getting an energy of, you know, thought discrimination, thought police as well. Um, people who, and I'm getting a two-year time frame here, and they're eight, eight, okay, of intense change, transformation, death, rebirth cycles, okay, with that eight. And I'm also getting a lot of debt and a lot of taxes. Oh, with that eight, very eighth house. Okay, south node in Scorpio. I could go on. I'm on a roll here. <laughs> Look at that despair. And that's a five. All right. That's a five. Conflict within the legal system. Conflict within the economy. People are being displaced over this. But oh, you're not allowed to talk about it. You're not allowed to look at it. And somebody in authority doesn't want to talk about it, doesn't want to have the conversation, doesn't want to see it. It's a big issue, too. This is very Jupiter type of energy with that, um, that Eight of Swords. All right, that just came out. Money flow, hard work, putting plans in motion, building team, taking time off, security. Well, that's definitely about security. And what are they trying to secure? Cash flow going into these partnerships. These big pharma companies, what are their plans? To make it illegal not to take whatever medical product they tell you to take. Manifesting money, it's all about the money. It's all about the money, baby. Reaching goals, financial assistance, hands-on work, getting help, getting a job. I, I honestly, this so reeks of the employee mandates, the VAX mandates. Um, I don't even feel like I need to go any further with that, to be honest with you. It's, it's so glaringly obvious what this is about. Um, let's move on. Let's talk about the middle class and what's going on with fiat currency. For those of you who don't know, fiat currency is basically the U.S. dollar. Used to be backed by gold, used to be on the gold standard, but 1971 was taken off the gold standard. And now what is the U.S. dollar based on? Your sheer belief alone. Does that make you feel good? <laughs> 
The dollar has been devalued ever since then and inflation has gone up ever since then because the only reason these dollars have any value is because we believe in their value. That's it. Apart from that, it's toilet paper. Don't believe me? Look it up. Do your own research, right? Okay, oh my, look at this. Ace of Wands and Four of Chalices. Okay, so I don't know why I'm getting this intuitive vibe, this feeling off of her. Like, excuse me, can I have that? Could you give that to me? Somebody is wanting a new beginning here, a new creative start. For some, the, the new beginning is about traveling, okay? It's about getting movement physically, moving locations, all right? For other people, it's just simply um, having more, you know, possibilities, more potential open up in their life, more opportunities, okay? Um, and, and being able to produce more with their lives, um, having more, I'm, I don't know why I'm hearing levity, levity, and that's not a word I ever use, but I'm hearing levity. What does that word mean? I mean, I know what it means, but I don't know what it means, right? Like having more ability to be socially mobile, um, or economically upwardly mobile. Let's see what it says. Lightness of mind, character, or behavior. Lack of appropriate seriousness or earnestness. Okay, so I, I think they want uh, more excitement in their life. Okay, they don't like things being so sober, having to like concern themselves with every little detail of, you know, um, I, I, what's coming to me is a lack of disposable income. Okay, and because you have less levity with your finances, you have to um, have more of a basic life. There's no, you can't afford fun. You can't afford to go out and do things that would just make life less for lack of better wording uh feeling like you're a slave you know to the system that you're just here to pay bills like my god what else am i here to do you know some people also they um they want creative new starts not just with moving locations but maybe starting businesses or they want to travel more freely But there's some kind of disappointment with that Four of Chalices, okay? Knight of Swords in reverse. <laughs> there's, and, and I'm going to, yeah, Two of Pentacles. People are really struggling financially because promises were not kept. I'm also seeing with this, uh, there is a relevant time frame of spring months, okay? Something, and I see her looking back to the spring months um, where, yeah, this would have been, March, April, May, okay? Uh, somebody's very disappointed as they're reflecting back on the time frame. I don't know if they're getting this feeling like, you know, things didn't quite take off like I was hoping at the beginning of this year. And we are now, you know, in the second half of this year. So I think a lot of people, particularly middle class, looking back on how things have digressed. And now I'm hearing that saying, my, how far the mighty have fallen. My, how far the mighty have fallen who's the mighty the middle class that's what this nation the united states was built upon we built this country and so somebody is very disappointed about the way this whole year has gone down there's a lot of apathy here as well um if people are not discontent like disappointed there's just some kind of i'm not impressed i'm not impressed with what is being offered here i'm not impressed with how this new year got started off and some people are emotionally just disconnected or uninterested and really looking into things further and i think that we are seeing this with a lot of people who are still in a bit of denial as to Gee, how did this all happen? Okay, how did this all digress so quickly, so badly in just the last six months? Gee, I wonder who is to blame for that or what kind of policies might be to blame for that. You know, there's some kind of, of disconnect or people just don't want to look at it or people are just, again, they're, they're apathetic about the whole situation. They're not inquiring any further. So there's some kind of also, I'm seeing with the four cellos, some kind of emotional like this I feel I'm hearing intuitively they don't know what to make of it some people are very they know that something's wrong okay something doesn't 
smell right. Something is off in the water, so to speak. Um, things are not adding up, but they can't figure out. They're disappointed, but they can't figure out what the source of the disappointment is. Why are my dollars not going where I need them to go? And with the Knight of Swords, I think that uh, they're grasping for something that is out of reach. New beginnings that they are wanting in life. New possibilities, potentials, but it's out of reach. And what they're not looking at, because I see her with her back to this Knight of, Knight of Swords in reverse. They're not looking at the fact that um, things have not been directed properly. There's been a disregard for consequences, right? Money printer does not go burr, right? without getting higher inflation, without devaluing your dollar. It just doesn't work like that. It's basic economics. So, But there's a disregard for the facts, the reality. And some people just very scattered in their thinking all over the board. I'm hearing illogical. Illogical just doesn't add up at the end of the day, but people are not. And I'm also hearing the hypocrisy. Right? And like kind of going back to this uh, last topic, we have a lot of these people that have for decades been saying, my body, my choice, my body, my choice. And then when that gets struck down in the court, um, they're outraged. They're burning the place down um, or wanting to, but they want to mandate this stuff. And they say, well, what about my body, my choice? Oh, that doesn't apply. The hypocrisy, the illogic. This could also have to do with you know, it's it's not politically correct. It's a thought crime to think any other way. Unfortunately, this is putting somebody in financial disarray. Also want to warn y'all, I see there might be an issue with cyber attacks or um, hacking going on and somebody's conveniently just, you know, I don't know, I'm getting, this is a weird, uh, that I'm seeing, like, somebody's chasing the next carrot, like, you know, like, you're being, you, there, somebody's putting a carrot on it, oh, okay, bite, take that one, bite that, you know, oh, oh, don't worry about this other stuff that's not really working out with the money monetary system, I mean, I know we told you this, but then we did that, I mean, we told you that all these jobs were created, but gee, we didn't talk to you about how wages aren't keeping up with inflation, oh, yeah, let's not, let's, let's not really do the numbers here and add this all up, um, or we didn't tell you, you know, when we sent you those stimulus checks, we didn't tell you, hey, about a year, year and a half from now, um, that money is going to be damn near worthless. You're going to start losing your homes, your cars. I mean, have y'all seen? I'm hearing reports of people that are insiders in these industries are saying, you know, that, that cars are now uh, getting repossessed. These repossessed cars are now flooding the auction houses after two years of vehicles being under like 40% inflation and people, you know, they just couldn't afford it. They need to go buy something. They signed up for a car payment that they can't afford. And damn, now all the food prices and the gas are up. So they're losing the, the, the cars. And the same situation is going down with the housing. So watch out because with the two of pentacles, I mean, I'm seeing it here and here. This is a middle class's money. And I don't know why I just heard Tom Foolery getting all I'm hearing all this stuff I don't know what exactly it means I'm going to look it up because I'm trying to honor what I hear but basically it's playful or foolish behavior silly behavior foolishness I don't ever talk this way but this is what I'm hearing that it's you know people being casual and inappropriately casual about money matters. And now they're having to adapt to changes going on with these cost increases and having to negotiate inflation because, gee, guess what? What you were told that it was transitory? Uh, yeah, that's a lie. <laughs> clearly, clearly people are having to adapt to the, the reality versus the lip service. What is this ace of... What is this Ace of Wands about? Ace of Wands. I think this is about mandates, okay, being lifted. And people are like, well, I, you know, I took my vaccine, so can I travel now? And, I mean, I did everything y'all told me to do. Can I move? Can I get my business back and running and going the way it was before? I mean, I followed you, what you said. 
Four of Chalices. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, dear. Yeah, this all is tying back into the Convid. Um, you know, honestly, I'm feeling a lot of overlap here because the Lover's card came up with that that last spread having to do with the Convid. And so, again, I, what I'm seeing here is people are quite disappointed of, you know what, I partnered. I, you know, I partnered with Big Pharma. I partnered with the authorities and the mandates and the government. I complied. I complied. Uh, but now, you know, this is really disappointing. And, you know, there's some heaviness here with the compliance and the cooperation. Um, and the cost has been huge. The cost has been huge to the monetary system having to do with this health matter. This health matter, okay? Let's tell me what the Knight of Swords is about. More money, more money. Look, people are getting rich off of this. Pay attention to who's getting rich off of this and who's not. It's not an accident. It's really not. Um, billionaires have been made over the last two years. But I'll tell you who's not getting rich off of this. Yeah. And I'll tell you what's getting devalued off of this. I feel that um, I'm getting something about like side hustles or uh, with this occupation card. Um, a lot of people are managing the um, the cost increases, the inflation by picking up little side jobs, little side hustles. Um, for example, my middle daughter, she works in the restaurant business. She makes great money because she works at a, a higher end restaurant where a lot of wealthy people come in and they tip very well usually. Um, but she started this little side hustle of making these, um, ready-made meal prep because she's really good at it. And, you know, she working in the restaurant business, she knows how to do the food handling and all of that. So, um, what she's doing is bringing this, even though she's already got a job and she's got a decent job, you know, but she's trying to like adapt and change by doing the little side hustle of doing meal prep for people at home once a week healthy meal prep where she does the grocery shopping, the cooking, the packaging, the delivery, everything to make additional money. And she told me it's not a whole lot of money to start with because I think she's only got like four people, you know, right now. But she said it's enough to pay for my groceries. And, and you know, that's significant considering what's going on. Um, at the foundation here, we've got community. Okay. So some of you, I'm also being brought back. If you are struggling with these cost um, increases, I'm getting an additional message here. You, as with many others, are overcoming these challenges by doing stuff locally. Little side hustles, like I just mentioned. Tell you what, that nugget keeps coming out. That's been a synchronicity for weeks now. Gold, the gold standard, right? And I told you from the beginning, fiat is not backed by gold. It's not backed by anything of tangible value apart from your belief, which is not tangible. But anyway, I digress. It's intangible. But this issue of gold and things of real value is really an issue here. And with the pendulum, it's kind of bringing me back to this two of pentacles situation where things keep fluctuating with people's money. And they're having to keep adapting to the changes that keep coming online. And they have to keep strategizing and pivoting and positioning. Okay. And there are some people who are very indecisive. They don't know. They don't know how to roll with these punches. They don't know how to not get blown away by every wind that comes, every changing wind that comes economically. And some people are just flat apathetic about it, intellectually lazy, emotionally just discontent, and not really, they're just flat not dealing with it, okay? Um, some of you, part of the choices that you're having to make with all these changes is maybe changing your work adding to your work, doing seasonal work, just to get a small increase. Again, it goes back to the example I gave you with my daughter. She said, it's not a lot, but it's enough to pay for my groceries. And so some of you are having to make a very honest assessment as to, you know, how do you get a new beginning, a fresh start, which I'm seeing there and there. Tangible, ass, uh, tangible assets are key is what I'm getting out of this message. You want a brand new beginning? It's going to be in the tangible. It's got to be in the tangible. And some of you are going to have to build a new career, a new occupation, a side hustle. Small as a beginning as that might seem. Um, some of you I'm seeing, you know, particularly with the middle class, having to borrow money 
to get through, you know, rough patches of things, you know, keep continuing to be unstable, uh, dealing with people being low on cash. Some of you will be able to find more income through working in the hospice system. I'm getting back to this, like there's a lot of overlap here. Um, or simply reinventing your career. Because I am seeing for some people there's no work. But I'm seeing plenty of work in hospice healing, which goes right back to this. And is it any wonder, given what's been going on the last two years, that now we have an influx of increased need for patient care? Not an accident, folks. Not an accident. Let's see what the financial advice is for the collective. The week of 4th of July. The week of 4th of July. Filling these two. Well, um, I'm seeing something about, you know, winter time, Christmas time, there being more money to work with by then. Um, and again, maybe a seasonal holiday work that some of you are going to get more of that increase, okay? Um, but I am feeling these two cards are very closely related in that people need to realize life is not supposed to be like this. You are not supposed to feel like you are a debt slave. But I do feel a sense that there's going to be a lot of um, people feeling like they're trapped into some kind of slavery. And a lot of people are going to willfully accept it. They're going to accept that this is their lot in life or that, oh, well, I guess things just happen for a reason. Has nothing to do with people plotting and scheming behind the scenes. No, um, they're just going to accept it. Okay, but those of you who are wiser and you understand what the heck's going on here, that none of this is an accident. It's all by design. You stand up and you're knowing that you are deserving of better and you make sure that you get paid first. Okay. Um, honestly, going back to this next week, I feel, especially with the new moon in Cancer, um, over the first two weeks of this month, it is a time where you need to really look at, stand up for yourself that you deserve better. Make sure you get your money first and... Yeah, maybe that's saving, right? By the end of this year, I think some of you could be doing a lot better. But between now and then, save your money, pay yourself first, and know that this is not the way life's supposed to be. You deserve better. I hope that's encouraged, y'all. Y'all take care. Have a great week.